In the tumultuous narrative of 1 Kings 13, we are transported to an era fraught with divine tension and human frailty. At its heart, this captivating account pulsates with themes of prophecy, obedience, and the inexorable hand of divine justice. Our story revolves around three central figures, a nameless prophet handpicked by the Almighty to deliver a stern message of retribution to the wayward King Jeroboam of Israel. Jeroboam, once anointed to rule, has strayed perilously from the path of righteousness, succumbing to the allure of idolatry and forsaking the commandments of the God who placed him on the throne. Enter the enigmatic old prophet from Bethel, whose presence becomes a catalyst for the tragic sequence of events that ensue. As the narrative unfolds, we witness a web of betrayal, consequence, and the profound interplay between human agency and divine sovereignty. But beyond the ancient drama lies a timeless tapestry of lessons waiting to be unraveled. Through the lens of these characters' struggles, we are compelled to confront our own propensity for disobedience, the far-reaching ramifications of our choices, and the unwavering fidelity of a God who demands our allegiance. Join us as we delve into the depths of 1 Kings 13, where prophecy echoes through the corridors of history, obedience is tested in the crucible of adversity, and divine justice reigns supreme over the affairs of mortals. If you find this exploration of the prophet's story insightful, and it resonate with your interest, we invite you to like, subscribe, and share the video with others who may benefit from these biblical insights. Amidst the rugged expanse of Israel's countryside, the unnamed prophet embarks on a solemn journey, his footsteps echoing against the rocky terrain. Clad in humble attire, his cloak billows softly in the breeze, bearing witness to the weight of his sacred mission. As he traverses dusty roads and winding pathways, the landscape unfolds in a tapestry of ancient olive groves and sun-kissed fields, a testament to the timeless beauty of the land. Along the way, he encounters weary travelers and curious villagers, each encounter a poignant reminder of the gravity of his task. With every step, the prophet's resolve strengthens, fueled by an unwavering commitment to deliver God's message of judgment to the wayward King Jeroboam. In the distance, the silhouette of the king's lavish court beckons, a stark contrast to the simplicity of the prophet's journey. Yet, undeterred by the opulence that awaits him, he presses onward, driven by a steadfast faith and a divine calling that transcends earthly comforts. The prophet's message of judgment against Jeroboam's idolatry reverberates with the authority of divine revelation, punctuated by the urgency of impending doom. Standing before the king and his courtiers, the prophet's voice rings out with clarity and conviction, his words infused with the power of divine truth. With unwavering resolve, he condemns Jeroboam's flagrant disregard for God's commandments, denouncing the king's idolatrous practices and the erection of golden calves as symbols of worship. Drawing upon the rich tapestry of Israel's history and covenant with God, the prophet recalls the solemn covenant forged between the Almighty and his chosen people, a covenant marred by Jeroboam's defiance and betrayal. With each word, he paints a vivid portrait of the consequences that await those who stray from the path of righteousness, warning of divine retribution and the swift hand of justice. Amidst the hushed murmurs of the court, the prophet's message pierces through the veil of complacency confronting Jeroboam and his subjects with the harsh reality of their transgressions. His words echo with the solemnity of a funeral dirge, a sobering reminder of the grave consequences that accompany disobedience and rebellion against the Most High. Yet, woven within the fabric of judgment lies a glimmer of hope, a call to repentance and reconciliation, a plea for Jeroboam to turn from his wicked ways and seek forgiveness before it is too late. With outstretched arms and eyes ablaze with righteous indignation, the prophet implores the king to heed the warning of impending doom and return to the path of righteousness before the wrath of God is unleashed upon the land. In the deceptive shadows of Bethel, the encounter between the unnamed prophet and the mysterious old prophet unfolds with an air of intrigue and foreboding. As the unnamed prophet continues his solitary journey, he is met on the dusty road by the figure of the old prophet, 
whose weathered features betray a lifetime of secrets and hidden wisdom. Clad in tattered garments that speak of a life of austerity, the old prophet's eyes gleam with an unsettling mix of curiosity and cunning as he beckons the younger man closer. Against a backdrop of gnarled trees and looming shadows, the two prophets engage in a fateful exchange, their words laden with layers of meaning and veiled intent. The old prophet's voice is soft yet insistent, his words weaving a web of half-truths and subtle manipulation as he entices the younger man to deviate from his path of obedience. With each carefully chosen phrase, he plants seeds of doubt and temptation, luring the unsuspecting prophet into a trap of his own making. As the encounter reaches its climax, the atmosphere crackles with tension, the silence broken only by the rustling of leaves and the whisper of the wind. Caught between the allure of false promises and the steadfastness of divine truth, the unnamed prophet stands at a crossroads, his resolve tested by the wiles of deception and the call of obedience. In this moment of moral reckoning, the fate of both men hangs in the balance as the timeless struggle between light and darkness plays out amidst the ancient landscape of Bethel. With every embellished detail and exaggerated flourish, the old prophet of Bethel paints a vivid picture of an angelic emissary delivering a message of fellowship and communion, a message tailored to appeal to the deepest desires of the young prophet's heart. His eyes gleam with a calculated intensity as he speaks, his words carrying the weight of false authority and hidden agendas. Behind the facade of piety and righteousness lies a cunning mind at work, manipulating truth and twisting reality to serve his own nefarious purposes. As the unsuspecting young prophet falls under the spell of his persuasive rhetoric, they are drawn into a tangled web of lies and half-truths, ensnared by the allure of false promises and counterfeit blessings. In the deceptive realm of the old prophet's imagination, truth becomes malleable, and reality bends to his will as he exploits the vulnerabilities of the human spirit for his own gain. But amidst the tangled threads of deception, a glimmer of truth remains, a flickering ember of discernment that, if nurtured, can pierce through the veil of deceit and reveal the darkness lurking beneath the surface. For in the timeless battle between truth and deception, it is the discerning heart that will ultimately triumph, uncovering the hidden lies and reclaiming the light of divine truth. In a moment fraught with temptation and fatal consequence, the unnamed prophet succumbs to the allure of disobedience, choosing to go against God's command and partake of food and drink with the old prophet from Bethel. As the scene unfolds, the prophet finds himself ensnared in a web of deception, his resolve weakened by the persuasive rhetoric and false promises of his cunning counterpart. Against the backdrop of ancient Bethel, where shadows dance and secrets lurk in the darkness, the prophet's inner turmoil is palpable. Clad in humble attire that speaks to his origins as a servant of the Most High, his expression betrays a conflict raging within his soul. With each passing moment, the old prophet's persuasive words chip away at the prophet's resolve, clouding his judgment and obscuring the path of obedience laid out before him. Despite the warning echoing in the depths of his conscience, the prophet succumbs to the tantalizing offer of fellowship and camaraderie, his hunger for companionship outweighing his commitment to divine obedience. With a heavy heart and trembling hands, he reaches out to accept the proffered food and drink, sealing his fate with a fatal mistake that will reverberate through the annals of history. As the scene reaches its tragic climax, the prophet's choice hangs heavy in the air, a solemn reminder of the consequences that accompany disobedience and the fragility of human frailty. With each bite and sip, the bonds of fellowship are sealed and the prophet's fate is irrevocably sealed, setting in motion a chain of events that will ultimately lead to his downfall. The consequences of the prophet's disobedience reverberate through the annals of history, casting a long shadow over his once promising destiny. As he succumbs to the allure of temptation and veers from the path of obedience, the prophet finds himself ensnared in a web of divine retribution, his fate sealed by his own fatal mistake. First and foremost among the consequences is the loss of divine favor and protection. No longer shielded by the Almighty's guiding hand, the prophet becomes vulnerable to the whims of fate and the machinations of his enemies. 
His once clear vision becomes clouded, his once steely resolve weakened by doubt and uncertainty. Furthermore, the Prophet's disobedience sets in motion a chain of events that ripple outward, affecting not only his own life but the lives of those around him. Relationships fracture, alliances crumble, and trust erodes as the fallout from his actions spreads like wildfire through the land. But perhaps the most devastating consequence of all is the spiritual toll exacted by disobedience. As the Prophet grapples with the weight of his choices, he is consumed by a sense of guilt and remorse that gnaws at his soul like a festering wound. No longer able to commune with the Divine, he is left adrift in a sea of spiritual desolation, his once unshakable faith shaken to its core. In the end, the consequences of the Prophet's disobedience serve as a cautionary tale for all who would dare to stray from the path of righteousness. They remind us of the fragility of human resolve and the importance of steadfast obedience in the face of temptation. But they also offer hope, hope that redemption is possible even in the darkest of times, for those who are willing to humble themselves before the Almighty and seek forgiveness for their transgressions. In a cruel twist of fate, divine justice manifests in the tragic end of the Prophet as he meets his demise at the merciless jaws of a lion while journeying homeward. As the scene unfolds, the Prophet's figure is shrouded in the gathering darkness of the wilderness, his weary form silhouetted against the fading light of dusk. Clad in garments that bear witness to his spiritual journey and the trials he has endured, his steps falter with weariness as he navigates the treacherous terrain. Against the backdrop of looming shadows and haunting echoes, the Prophet's senses are suddenly assailed by the primal roar of a prowling lion, its golden eyes gleaming with predatory intent. With a sinking heart and trembling limbs, he realizes the gravity of his perilous situation, his mind racing with regret and fear. As the lion's thunderous charge reverberates through the wilderness, the Prophet's fate is sealed in a moment of brutal inevitability. With a savage swipe of its paw, the lion strikes, its razor-sharp claws tearing through flesh and bone with merciless precision. In a heartbeat, the Prophet's life is extinguished, his voice silenced forever in a chilling echo of divine retribution. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the Prophet's lifeless body lies crumpled amidst the unforgiving landscape, a stark reminder of the consequences that accompany disobedience and rebellion against the Most High. Yet even in death, his story serves as a cautionary tale for all who would dare to stray from the path of righteousness, a testament to the inexorable hand of divine justice that waits to mete out its judgment upon the hearts of mortals. As the dust settles on the Prophet's tragic demise, a solemn reflection ensues on the fulfillment of God's word and the profound seriousness of disobedience. Amidst the backdrop of the ancient wilderness, where shadows dance and whispers linger on the wind, the gravity of divine justice hangs heavy in the air. With hearts heavy with grief and minds burdened with remorse, those who witness the Prophet's downfall are confronted with the sobering reality of God's unwavering sovereignty. His word, once spoken, stands as an immutable decree, woven into the fabric of the universe itself. The Prophet's fate serves as a stark reminder that God's promises, both of blessings and of consequences, are not to be taken lightly. In the aftermath of tragedy, the consequences of disobedience loom large, casting a long shadow over the hearts of mortals. The Prophet's untimely demise stands as a testament to the dire consequences that accompany straying from the path of righteousness. His story serves as a cautionary tale for all who would dare to defy the will of the Almighty a solemn reminder of the seriousness of disobedience and the high price of rebellion. Yet even amidst the darkness of despair, there remains a glimmer of hope, a beacon of redemption for those who humbled themselves before the throne of grace. For in the midst of divine judgment, there is also mercy, waiting to embrace all who turn from their wicked ways and seek forgiveness with contrite hearts. As the reflection unfolds, Hearts are stirred and minds are awakened to the eternal truth that God's word is a double-edged sword, capable of both blessing and cursing, depending on the response of those who hear it. In the end, 
the Prophet's tragic demise serves as a reminder to all who would heed the call of obedience, that the path of righteousness may be narrow and fraught with peril. But it is also the only path that leads to true fulfillment and eternal life. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the ancient tale of the Prophet's tragic demise. As we reflect on the powerful lessons embedded within this story, we invite you, our viewers, to share your thoughts and insights. What resonated with you the most about the Prophet's journey and the consequences of disobedience? How do you interpret the message of divine justice and the seriousness of straying from the path of righteousness? Feel free to share your reflections, questions, or personal experiences in the comments below. Let's engage in meaningful dialogue as we explore the timeless wisdom of this ancient narrative together. Your voice matters, and we look forward to hearing from you. We're eager to hear your perspective on whether you believe the Prophet's fate was just or harsh. Do you think his tragic demise was a rightful consequence of his disobedience? Or do you feel it was too severe a punishment? We understand that interpretations may vary, and we welcome all viewpoints with open minds and hearts. Your insights contribute to a richer understanding of this profound story and its timeless lessons. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's engage in respectful and thought-provoking discussion as we delve deeper into the complexities of divine justice and human accountability. Your perspective is valued. If you find this exploration of the Prophet's story insightful and thought-provoking, we invite you to like, subscribe, and share the video with others who may benefit from these biblical insights. By liking the video, you show your support for our channel and help us reach a wider audience with meaningful content like this. Subscribing ensures you never miss out on future videos exploring timeless tales and lessons from the Bible. And by sharing this video with your friends, family, and community, you help spread the message of hope, redemption, and divine wisdom. Together, let's continue to delve into the rich tapestry of biblical narratives and glean valuable insights for our lives today. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to journeying with you further on this spiritual exploration. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay blessed.